Mikey, you got him! All right! Yeah! Hell yeah! Hey, guys, look at the rear spoiler on Mikey's truck. It's gone! He doesn't have a rear spoiler. Has won his first ever Camping World Truck Series race. Ten years Yikes. to the day Yikes. of his first Daytona 500 I can't, I can't believe I'm up here doing this race. <laughs> and he's out there doing that, what he does, and here we are again, ten oh, years later. Ten February years the 18th. To the day. Yeah, baby. Remember now, there's a minimum oh. angle that spoiler has yeah, to maintain. I think, I think we might have a problem. <laughs> we might have a bit of a problem <laughs> maintaining that angle. Yes, it was gone. Yeah. Now, he's missing a very critical part of these vehicles. Well, and we heard earlier in this race, mm. yeah, you see that, yeah. that spoiler. This is a, essentially a brand new team. This is what was left of Billy Blue Motorsports. Vision Airlines bought this team. So this is their actual first attempt. And they could end up in victory lane. But what a great job and what a great drive by Michael Walter. Here's what I guarantee you. The win will stand. Now, there might be a fine. There might be a penalty because of that spoiler coming down, falling down, but I guarantee the win will stand. He's gonna get the win. I think he will. And he will become. <laughs> you guaranteed just a moment ago. <laughs> okay. It's the best guarantee I got. Take a look at what just took place. My goodness, and he, Michael had it figured, I can't, he had it figured out. He did exactly what he said he was gonna do. That's a great battle. Look at Clay Rogers come up there Whoa. with Kyle Busch pushing him. Clay ends up finishing up in the third spot. Michael Waltrip wants to grab the checkered flag. Once again, he will go to victory lane at Daytona International Speedway. Two times the Daytona 500 winner. Now he's got a Daytona 250 trophy to go with those. Hey, Mikey, we knew you could do it, buddy. Okay, I'm just thankful. What, what does it mean, Mikey, 10 days after that Daytona 500 win? 10 years after that Daytona 500 win? I just, I don't know, Phil, I just, I don't know, I just am so thankful for Dale. My brother knows, <laughs> my brother knows, let him tell you. Let me tell you, brother, that was amazing. That strategy you had, I said, I don't know if that's going to work or not. You are the man. God love you, man. Congratulations, and what a great time to do it. Good job, buddy. Good job. I'm proud of you. Proud of you, Mikey. Job, An emotional win. Not only Michael, but obviously Brother Daryl. I, 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 I don't know what to say. That is unbelievable that he could do that. Let's go down to Hermie Sadler. Yeah, catching up with Elliot Sadler. I know you're disappointed with the second place finish, but you guys were in position to get it done. Go take us through that last lap one more time. Yeah, uh, Michael and I worked really good together the whole race. We got into the end and we started to tan him, and I knew when I come off four, it was going to be hard to block him, and I was trying to block him high, block him high, but I didn't want him to get under me. I felt like I had a better chance to keep pushing him high, but he, he made a great move. But can't thank Kevin and Delaney enough giving me a great truck tonight. One main financial. Uh, started off the good season with a, with a second-place finish, led some laps. But um, wish for him victory lane, but we got another chance tomorrow. It's Elliot Sadler. He finished his second. You see the 15, Michael Waltrip battling through the tri-oval with the checkered flag in the air and about a half a trunk truck leak lead over Elliott Sadler when they cross the strike. You know, Mike has been up in the booth with us for several years now, and we know how much he enjoys broadcasting this <laughs> series, but we know he's always been itching to get out there because, you know, this is one of the things on his resume. He never won a truck race. He hasn't had that many starts, but he hasn't got to victory lane. We always talk about the guys that have won in all three divisions. He's joined them. Well, you know what? He's done something I haven't done. I never won a truck race either. And so uh, that's a that's a great uh, accomplishment on his part. Quite a fraternity. There's only been 22 drivers that have ever won in all three series. Michael Waltrip, the 22nd, to add his name to daughter, that list. Little daughter Macy there. Let's go to victory lane. Chris Devota. Well, uh, Michael Waltrip's barely taking the time to take his helmet off. The first one to the truck, his daughter Macy. She's helping him get out of the car. And he waves the checkered flag. Michael Waltrip is exhausted, elated. 
thankful and overwhelmed. As we slide into step and talk with Michael Waltrip. Michael, I know you dream big. You've dreamt of a truck win. If you could have scripted it, would it have ever been at Daytona in the 15, 10 years to the day? No, I'm just so thankful. I, think, I, I want to thank the fans, man. They keep us going and they've just been so good to us. Camping World, this whole truck series. I've been an admirer of it from the speed booth, Krista. <sighs> I'm just so happy Macy's here. I love her so much. It's just uh, very emotional, and uh, I didn't know I could push Elliot all the way around there, and uh, I did. I was able to do it. I'm just. I didn't know I w could do that, and I wouldn't have known if it weren't for Kyle Busch. That's how good he is. He taught me how to win a race. I'm just. Uh, God bless Dale, you know, and his family, and his fans. I came here to celebrate his life with my black truck and my 15 car. Uh, I didn't come to celebrate a win. But um, this feels really good, I'm thankful. Can you describe to the move? You said you were gonna do it exactly the way you did. At what point did you know inside that race truck, I did it again? When I pulled out, I still didn't know because I didn't know how much my truck would bog down. I didn't know if maybe Elliot could tick, tick back inside of me. Uh, I, I didn't know until I saw the checkered, and I'm just, uh, I'm just so thankful. I mean, I don't even know those guys. Hi, y'all. <laughs> I mean, I know Tom and, and Doug. <laughs> and Doug. The thing is, they know you, Michael. <laughs> they wanted me to drive their truck. And Jerry wants me to drive his car tomorrow. And Bobby Kennedy and those guys at MWR want me to drive on Sunday. And uh, it wouldn't be possible if it weren't for this guy. MWR was up a creek, and uh, Rob showed up with a paddle. And uh, now we got, we got our feet under us, and maybe we could do this on Sunday, too. Macy, how high were you fist pumping and celebrating when you knew your dad wanted? We were in the bus screaming. It was so fun. We were all. <laughs> Michael Waltrip has always said, if he's in the race, he feels like he has a chance to win it. The 15 is back in victory lane.